Hi there. I'm making this short video to explain with a hub motor kit like this. What else do we need to build a electric play bike like this? So first of all, what problem does this hub motor kit solve? And of course, it's a custom kit that will bolt into a swing arm pretty easily without much modification. So first of all, of course, you need to have a frame and a swing arm like shown here. This is a KX65 frame with a swing arm and you do a little bit of modification to the swing arm so that it will accept the hub motor. The hub motor will bolt straight in. Once you do those little modification like opening up like this and then the little brake adapter, this one will slide into the slot of the stock swing arm of the KX65. With those, then putting a tire on there, I'm using PMT tire here for a kind of mini motor setup. But of course, there are all kinds of 12 inch tires you can use. And then you need brakes. This is a generic 220 millimeter brake rotor you can buy on alibaba.com. And then you need this little brake caliper. I'm using this RPM brand on alibaba.com as well. They're pretty cheap. <laughs> The caliper is like 30 bucks and the rotor is like 20 bucks. And then you need a some kind of brake line setup. There's nothing wrong to just reuse the stock rear brake master cylinder and the brake hose. But I use the handbrake setup, so I custom um it's a custom brake line. You can measure the length. And they're on Alibaba.com or eBay, pretty cheap as well. 20 bucks and this little Handbrake setup right here. This master cylinder is off eBay as well. They're pretty cheap. And of course, with the brake setup and the hub motor there, then the rest of the electric drive are here, which is the key thing to build. That is the battery pack right here. So the battery pack, there are many different ways to build it. For example, on this bike, this is a little battery pack. I bought off eBay. They're not very good, but you know, it's sufficient for just play around with low power. This one, something like 300 something dollars, and it's only one kilowatt hour. Or you can be like me, build this battery pack from scratch, from sales. So basically you would have to go from something like this with all the sales and start building up a pack. It's a lot of work. But of course, the performance is much better and you get the peace of mind that you're using high quality cells and all that. So with the battery pack, then the rest is to wire up the battery pack into the controller, which is part of the hub motor kit as well. And with the controller, of course, there's all kinds of wiring. For example, I put a little pre-charge circuit here and a little breaker right here. So this breaker, you can open the circuit or close it. These are all very cheap components you can buy off eBay. And I have this little three speed switch right here for low, medium, high speed and power. And they're off Alibaba.com, something like 10 bucks, pretty cheap as well. So the electric components are a lot of wiring work, but in general, they're not expensive. You can get them pretty reasonable off eBay and Alibaba.com. Once you wire them up, of course, with this uh, throttle as well. This is the throttle uh, kit with the key for generic electric bikes. This uh, off eBay, uh, something like 20 bucks. So it's pretty convenient. With the key, you can see the voltage as well. And the rest are pretty standard KX65 stuff. And for example, for both bikes, I'm using some good shocks instead of the stock shock. There's nothing wrong with the stock shock, but of course this shock is FZ09 shock. And this bike has a ZX60R shock. They're just a little better for adult riders. And the front forks, you can do a bunch of work. The brakes, if you want, you can do a little work. I didn't do any, this is just stock brakes. And the front wheel, you can use the stock front wheel like so, or you can lace a 12 inch rim into it. So you can use some 12 inch tires, which generally you have better choices. 
All right, that's about it. And the other other ends, for example, you would need a, this little spacer set up because the engine's not there anymore. So something has to be there in between the swing arm legs, like so. You can use anything 12 millimeter ID. This one I use just some uh, bushings there. And for the other one, I machined an aluminum spacer myself. Uh, it's just um, aluminum is a little lighter there instead of the steel. And the other other ends, for example, you need something to hold a battery pack. I'm using quarter inch thick ABS plastic and just to thermal form them or just heat them up and bend them, etc. You can do all kinds of things to make it work. But in general, some kind of thing like this would attach it pretty securely to the frame, then it will all work. So in general, it's some work to build it, but the components are not very expensive in general. And to build something like this, uh, buying all the parts and everything, uh, in general, you can build them with a pretty reasonably cheap price. Yep, that's the short video to as an introduction. Thanks.